here from my so-called home. For those of you that have been following my channel for a while, you know how excited I am for today. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Today is the continuation of our Goodwill Challenge that has been going on since December. I started the $5 Goodwill Challenge back at Christmas time last year, and we've done the spring edition, the summer edition, and you all know fall is my most favorite time of the year. So I am over the moon that it is now time for the $5 Goodwill Challenge and it's the fall edition. And one of the reasons today is so exciting is because there are a whole bunch of other YouTubers participating in the Goodwill Challenge. Uh, pretty much everyone that was involved in the previous editions and a few new faces that maybe you guys know, maybe you don't. I'm gonna link everybody that I know that's participating down in my more info bar. Go and check them all out. Go see the amazing things that they come up with and share the love with them. And I, I mean, I'm so excited. I can't wait. As soon as this video is done and posted, I'm off to check out what everyone else has done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I found at the Goodwill and what I actually made with it. I got a little bit creative this time. I didn't just buy one thing, put it on a shelf, voila, which is perfectly fine. I love seeing what people find. But I thought I'd take it one step further and actually find an item. I mean, I wasn't looking for it. It just happened, you know, I came across it and I was like, this is what I'm doing this year. So I found this velvet material. I mean, some sort of fabric. I'm not sure what exactly the point of it was. I don't know what its original life, you know, was, but it's this dark, black basically velvet fabric and it was a good amount of it. I laid it out on my floor to see just how big it was and I knew right away the second I saw it in the Goodwill I wanted to make some velvet pumpkins. I don't know if you guys know or have seen velvet pumpkins in other home stores, home decorating, you know, catalogs and stuff like that. They are beautiful but they're also extremely pricey. If you want to buy just a little one you could pay 10 to 12 dollars and who wants just one? I want a whole house full of them because they're so nice. So when I saw the fabric, I decided to, right away, I'm gonna make some velvet pumpkin. So now that my pumpkin is made, I just kind of loosened it up again on the top so that I could fill it. So I have my little bit of barley that I'm going to put in, just enough to kind of coat the bottom. And then I'm going to fill it with the batting and then give it its shape. And then once that's done, I'll take my cork and you can see the thread, the needle and thread are still in the pumpkin right now because Wow, I couldn't pick that up. Um, I'm gonna need to tighten this around the cork, so that's why it's still in there. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill it and then put my cork in. All right, so now that you can definitely see the general shape of it has come together, the bottom has a little bit of weight from the barley, and then I stuffed it with the batting. And now you can see that I have this thread here still so I could pull it tight. So I just have my corks, my little container of corks. My dad makes wine, so we have lots of these. Um, and I'm just gonna pick one that kind of looks a little bit, you know, rustic or, you know, has some wear to it, so it kind of looks more like a, um, you know, a pumpkin vine. So I think one of these two, this one maybe, because it's all kind of, you know, has lots of holes in it and cracks in it. So I think I'm gonna use that one as my stem. So all I'm gonna do is put it in and pull it tight. Now I can hot glue this, and I did hot glue uh, some of the ones that I already made, um, but I don't know. I, I could hot glue it to the fabric and it would stay, but I don't know. I kind of like the idea of if I do come across some pumpkin uh, actual vines this season, I could maybe take this out and put a real pumpkin stem in, and then I'd have them ready to go for next year. So I'm actually just going to put it in just like that and then tighten it really, really tight so it won't fall out. 
Um, you wouldn't normally pick it up by the stem anyway, you would just pick up the whole thing, so it'll be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tie the um, thread really tight, pull it tight, and then you know get this to stay in there. Now like I said, I'm gonna take some of this just jute rope or jute twine, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. And these are just kind of scraps that I've had left over from various projects. So I'm gonna find the end. You can see like it's all knotted here. I'm just gonna undo it and then take this end. I'm just gonna wrap it around and see the length that I want. I want it to be about maybe that long or so. Snip it off. And then what I'm gonna do, and what I like about this jute rope is it's actually three pieces in one. So I'm gonna go ahead and unravel them as best I can. If I just untwist the whole thing, that's a little bit easier. And then I'll have three pieces of rope that are a little bit thinner. And they're also very twisty and vine-like. You can see like that, see? Much better. So now I'm gonna put them back together and tie them around my vine, or my stem I should say, and just knot them, really simple. Like I said, this is kind of just the temporary solution. I would like to get real vines um, sometime this season, but for now, I think this looks cute. And then you just kind of play with it, get them to lay however you want. And then for some of them uh, that I already made, I would just snip maybe one or two of them a little bit shorter, just to get it a little bit more natural and, you know, organic looking, I guess. So that's it, that's my little velvet pumpkin. So then after I realized how easy these were to make and, you know, I bought the fabric at the thrift store that was really cheap, I came home and realized I had all this velvet fabric that actually my brother-in-law used to work at a fabric store a long time ago and these are all fabric samples and they're all in different shades of like, you know, fallish colors and they're all kind of a velvety fabric. So I took the purple one that was in there and made a little purple pumpkin. I'm gonna show you now how they look on my mantle. I love them so much. I'm basically obsessed with them and I wanna make like 50 of them and give them away to everyone I know because I think that they're so cute and they were so cheap to make uh, so I'm gonna go ahead now and show you my mantle this is kind of gonna be my goodwill challenge slash fall mantle uh, display so let me show you so here is our super simple fall mantle this year if you guys don't know a few videos back I posted how my husband and I actually built this fireplace it is a faux fireplace it's completely decorative we built it completely from scratch added in a little electric unit to make it look like a fireplace, but everything else is just made from items at the Home Depot and Lowe's. So definitely go and check out that video. I'll link it below if you wanna see how we built this fireplace. But what I wanna show today is how I decorate the mantle for fall. It's actually pretty simple, I'd say, but I really do love it. And I have so much other fall decor sprinkled around our home. Since this is the focal point when you walk in the room, I wanted to kind of keep it simple and just put all the emphasis on these beautiful velvet pillows that I made. I am so in love with them and I've seen them at so many other craft stores and you know home decor stores. Always wanted to buy them, but they were just too much for me and my cheapness. So I made them myself, super inexpensive. This um, little pedestal was actually from the Goodwill a few months back. I did a video about that and I said I was gonna use it for my fall decor. So here it is now. I used it kind of like a pedestal and put one of the velvet pumpkins right there on top. I think it looks really cute. Then I have a little brown one here. Like I said, I had some extra fabric. So, you know, I just made that one, but all the black ones are from that velvet from the Goodwill. This little ceramic squirrel I got at a thrift store, of course, and honestly, if you know the blog Young House Love, you'll know that they had a squirrel that was just like this, a little white ceramic squirrel. I mean, it may be the exact same one, and I believe theirs was from West Elm, but I found this at a thrift store, and my heart literally like jumped out of my chest. I was so excited. I think I paid two or three dollars for it, but it is interesting because on the back side, there's this weird image of a hand holding a walnut. Not really sure why that's there, so we just spin it around, and no one knows that there's that weird hand with the nut. I don't know. So we just have it like this and he's kind of, 
you know, bowing to this candle. I don't know, I didn't mean to do that, but I just think he looks really cute right here next to this candle pedestal that also was from a thrift store. Are you catching my drift here? I love thrift stores. I believe I paid $1.99 for this and it's cast iron, so it's super heavy, super sturdy. And then on top I have lit an autumn candle from Bath & Body Works and seriously, how beautiful is the packaging this year? These are the white barn candles and they have these beautiful kind of pewter leaves on it. So gorgeous. I have three of them and I love them so much. And then on the end, I have the big guy, this big pumpkin that I made. I love him so much with the little cork stem and the little, you know, twine vines. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. And then you'll see the main focal point is actually this painting that Again, bought from a thrift store probably four or five years ago, and it's our matador. We love him so much. Evie, when she sees him, says, Dada, she thinks it looks like my husband, which, I mean, it kind of does look like him, I guess, but we love him so much, and he's so perfect for this fall mantle. The frame is kind of gold and rustic. There's this kind of maroon velvet that's kind of on the border, and just the colors and everything are so perfect for fall. He used to be in our entryway, but if you remember, I changed that entryway up, and I said, oh, I needed to move this painting for another area. This is what I was talking about. So I think he is absolutely perfect for fall, and he just completes the whole fall mantle display, and I love it so much. Of course, the flames are perfect too. Oh, it's just so cozy and warm. I can't wait for the chilly weather to come. So that's what I came up with for this fall edition of the Goodwill Challenge. Took some inexpensive $1.99 velvet, turned them into beautiful pumpkins for my home, and I love it so much. Now, I'm definitely going to go now. You know, now that this is posted, I get the opportunity to go and check out everyone else that's been involved. This is literally the highlight of my season. I get so excited to go and see what everyone else has found, what everyone else has decorated their homes with. Oh my gosh, it's like the most exciting thing ever. So definitely go and check out everyone that's involved. Like I said, I'll link them all below. And if you choose to do this challenge, which I highly encourage you to do so, I would love to see what you find. Let me know. If you make a video, just let me know. Leave me a comment and I will add you to my list of people that are involved so we can all check out each other's finds and be inspired to decorate and love our homes and do it all on a budget. That's it for today. And again, go check everyone else out and go share the love. And I will talk to you later, guys. Bye.